So this video is uh, replacing the toggle switch. And why would you want to replace the toggle switch? Well, a lot of times they get burnout. Um, if guys leave the batteries plugged in and you plug a charger up to it, and somebody comes by and hits that switch to test it, it'll burn the switch out. So you need to replace the switch. Um, there's a breaker down here that also gets replaced. Uh, a lot of the times you'll, uh, it'll burn out. Um, you'll notice that the copper screw breaks off of it. Um, and that's because of a short inside it that made that happen. Or it could just be your breaker went bad. And you you see how you get this blackening around these wires right here? That's what happens when there's too much voltage going through this. Like when it's charging, if someone hits that switch up top, it will burn these wires out. And that when that happens, <clears throat> now I can replace this separately. That's the breaker, pretty simple. Two screws right here. And make sure you put this, the, the wires in the right spots again. Um, the other option, the other thing that can go out, like I said, is the switch up here. So those two are simple to replace. Now, if they both go out and your wires are blackening and stuff like that, then I would suggest replacing the whole uh, wiring harness on the system, which they sell the whole harness, which includes the switch, all the wiring, and this breaker as well. Um, so I'll get to those. But first, what we're going to do today is replace the toggle switch. I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing to do to replace the toggle switch is remove these screws. You got one here and you have one underneath right here. So those two screws need to be removed. With the screws removed, you just remove the cover and there's your switch. Now on this switch is the, the main thing to look for here is you, here's your ground. So it's coming in, it's plugged into the back of this center post right here. So when you're looking at your new one, here's your new one. See the direction get this lined up in the same so anyway your new one you want them to be lined up the same way when you put them back in so just make sure you got that in that same in the right direction sorry and then uh the next thing we want to do is we want to get this top screw on top here removed so take that off next you need to remove this nut right here the screw is on this side over here so I'll take those off real quick. You unplug your battery. Um, so the next thing to do is to unscrew each of these wires here and pull their, pull that down. See how that comes out? So that's this one here. Pull down. Now there's a third wire, which is this center one right here. So basically you go through the inside here. Remove that one. Now you wanna make sure you know which one's which. So this is the front, this is the back, and this is my center. You might not be able to get that center one out. Let's see if we can. Might have to take the screw all the way out for that center one to come out. That would probably be enough. All right. Here's the center one. And we'll just keep it over here in the middle, kind of out the way here on the left, just like that. Okay, this comes out. Get all your wires out of your way. Just like that. And that one's out. Now again, back to this one here. Remember your uh, ground wire, the green one, at the back post right here. Take off the top, little nut off the top here. Let's 
slip it right back in there. Just like that. Okay. And here's our center one here. I'm going to switch it with the green one, though, and get it on the other side of the green one just so we can reach it easier. So there's that one. This one goes here, and this one goes over here. So I'm going to put those together, and I'll be right back. So there we go. I've got all the wires back on. Now, one thing you want to make sure of is see this screw back here, how close it is to that wall back there? You want to adjust it out to where the screw's not touching the wall of that box, and then put this nut back on on the top of it, just like that. And then as you're tightening this nut, up, or the screw up, the nut up top, make sure that you hold those screws away from the back of that box while you tighten that. Otherwise, if they're touching the, the box, then they'll arc out and ruin the switch again. So now you can see there's space behind that screw. It's not actually touching the plate. So then you just put your old plate back on, line it up, put your screws back in, and you've replaced the switch. That's it. New switch. Pretty simple.